What's up guys and girls? So again we have another video showing some new Fallout 4 weapons and you can get these from the Bethesda website under the mod section of Fallout 4. Uh, currently I think they're only available for the PS4 but I'm not entirely sure if they are available on the Xbox One. You can have a look when you find them so let's get into it. So first up is the Deo. So this is pretty much an upgraded version of the Chinese sword. Chinese officer sword that is. And it is located in Sanctuary inside that chest. So all you can do is add the electrified blade and head on out. I just wanted to see how many I could get within one vats. Because there are a few. So it can nicely glorify enemies in one hit. Creating nuclear material for yourself as well. So to finish up with the sword, we have a sentry bot. I know it's low health, but what the hell. Then we're going to move on to some teddy bear grenades. Now, I don't stick on this for long, just it's pretty much a nice mess around thing to have if you would like to have grenades shaped as teddy bears. Now, you do get bear man grenades, which don't actually do anything. So you can throw them, pick them up, throw them, pick them up, but it really doesn't do anything. No explosion or anything. But as you can see, you can craft other ones, cryos and nukers and stuff like that, but all shaped as teddy bears. Now, I threw the teddy bear down and it doesn't do anything. So it's only really effective if they suffer from urosophobia, which is the fear of teddy bears, an official word for the fear of teddy bears. So just a mess around thing, really. So here we throw some cryos and it works just the same as a grenade, which is why we're going to move on to the predator right now. The Predator. Very cool looking weapon, I like it a lot. And it has bonus damage to stealth attack, so I'm not sure if it stacks with a ninja perk, it probably does, so you can get a, a massive amount of damage for a sneak attack with this weapon. It's located just on the other side of the bridge, um, outside of Sanctuary, right next to this statue over here. So you can't mod this at all, so we're just going to head straight out. So now we're going to try the sneaky route, be a sneaky puff header. And the armor I'm wearing makes me go invisible. So that's the crit shot for the stealth attack, and I was hoping the mother Mirlurk here would spawn, but she doesn't. She actually doesn't anymore. So again, super sneaky. Difficult to be very sneaky in power armor, although you can have an automatic stealth field for this as well. But there's a couple of deathies walking around here, so I thought I would try and take them on.
I know my character looks like he's wearing a lot of shit, but I've got three different items that increase your movement speed by 10%, and holy shit, does it make a difference. I just can't take it off now, I'm so used to it. But as you can see, very effective sneaky gun, and these guys still can't see us. Now, I know there's a, an invisible assault on here somewhere, and she kind of almost surprises me here. Well, she does surprise me, but holding the trigger down sorted that out. Toodles. Now, I have no idea what the hell this guy was doing, but I know he was dying. Right, so next up we have the Master Blaster, which is also a pretty awesome weapon, but making the ammo for it is a bitch, as you might already know. And the weapon can be found within Diamond City, the Dugout Inn. Head to the back laundry room and you will need to steal it, so be stealthy or whichever way you see fit. And then we can add some mods and head on out. Whatever you can ask, I don't know anything about it. Hell yeah. So there are a couple of options you can choose to mod this weapon. Nuka Cola, Cherry Gun, and Quantum Gun. So, I'm going to go for the Quantum. Then you can head on over to your Chem Bench, Chemistry Station, and craft some weaponized Nuka Cola Quantum Ammo. I've got some other videos showing where you can get those plants you need, but you can check those in the description if you need to. So, here we go on a level, what is that, 46? Also, Toodles. Now I like to mainly use VATS for this weapon because a miss will be an expensive miss considering how, what a mission it is to create the ammo. So apologies if you don't like the VATS but I don't use it all the time now, I like to mix it up. So there goes the mythic. It was funny, doing a video on the Predator gun, and then hearing this sound. Just reminded me of the Predator, and made me watch the classic, <laughs> the classic one from 1970 something. Go Arnie. So there's that Deathclaw in its Murin. He's a constant spawn in the bottom left hand corner of the Nuka map. So there goes the Assaultron for the second time. I think this is my only free shot here. And he survives. It's a long distance. So next up is the Watts prototype. Now this has a 25% chance to cripple your enemies and if used the right way can be a very effective weapon. So this can be found within Watts Consumer Electronics. Funny that. And there it is right there just around Bunker Hill and so on. And it cannot be modded so we're going to grab the weapon upstairs and head on out. Yes. So this is pretty much how you should use the gun. Which I only discovered after a while of using it. I just thought, I didn't actually realize they were crippled. Fail on my half, but whatever. So now he's down, you can kill him with whatever you want. But they can still hit you, as I found out, even though I fast forward this. He takes some good swings. Never say die. Except there. I love this boomstick of the guards from my previous video. Shotgun's a keeper. Yeah. 
See, now he's down. I really didn't need to use any of those items to use my Psycho Jet. But what the hell. So that will bring us to the end of our video. Thank you, Mr. Mysterious Stranger. So yeah, if you like some of the weapons, if you have any questions, please ask. I will always answer. If you found the video informative or just enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment. And there will be more up soon. Many more weapons, including Negan's Lucille. So stick around, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.